can't stop a moving train. Femi Fanikayo Day attacks Cardinal John Oyeneko over a statement against Tunubu swearing in ceremony. Hey guys, this one don't take another dimension. No. Hmm. Femi Fanikayo Day, the spokesperson for the Tunubu Shetima presidential campaign council, has taken to social media in order to criticize Cardinal John Oyeneko the Emeritus Archbishop of the Catholic Diocese of Abuja, Gardner John Uyeneko, recently made the statement that the inauguration ceremony for President-elect Bola Ahmed Tinubu should not take place because of the petitions that have been filed against him at the election tribunal on Instagram. He voiced his dis uh, disapproval in such a way. We recall that Cardinal John Oyeneko, in a conversation he had just a few hours ago with Chanes uh, TV, embarked, remarked that it does not make sense to swear in President elect Bola Tinubu and other candidates whose victories are still being disputed in court. Oyeneko made this statement in response to a question about whether. Whether or not it is appropriate to swear in President elect Bola Tinubu. According to the clergyman, Nigerians need to evaluate the electoral process to guarantee that they have a winner who will be sworn in and that everybody would rally around. The clergyman also stated it is unfortunate that the court is taking too long to make a decision on the case that are before them. And so, after such a statement was made by the Archbishop, the former aviation minister, Femi Fanikayode took to his official Instagram page to react, where he stated that the Nigerian people have spoken and the deep state conspiracy to prevent Bola Tinubu from becoming president has failed for a long time ago. This was in response to the Archbishop's uh, st uh, statement. Femi Fanikayode continued by saying that Cardinal Joy John Oyeneko, I beg your pardon, cannot stop a moving train. And he said that those individuals who have hardened their heart and who have refused to accept God's will to allow Bola Ahmed Tinubu and the Nigerian people go shall shall be like Pharaoh who perish before their eyes. The APC had concluded by saying that those individuals who are full of resentment and wrought and who wish to pursue them into the Red Sea as they make their way into the Promised Land will be drawn by such a sea, he said. So guys, what's your take on this? Femi Fanikayo Day, the spokesperson for the Tunubu Shetima Presidential Campaign Council, had taken to social media in order to criticize Cardinal John Uyeneko, the Emeritus Archbishop of the Catholic Diocese of Abuja. Cardinal John Uyeneko recently made the statement that the inauguration ceremony for President elect Bola Ahmed Tunubu should not take place because the petitions that have been filed against him at the election tribunal still on hold. On Instagram, Femi Fanikayode voiced out in his uh, disapproval in such a way. Record that Cardinal John, John Oyeneko, in a conversation he had with, with just a few hours ago with Channel's TV, remarked that it does not make sense to swear in the president-elect Bola Tinubu and other candidates whose victories are still being disputed in court. Oyeneko made this statement in response to a question about whether or not it is appropriate to swear in the president-elect Bola Ahmed Tinubu. According to the, the clergyman, Nigerians need to evaluate the electoral process 
that guarantee that they have a winner who will be sworn in and that everybody would rally around. The clergyman also stated that it is unfortunate that the court is taking too long to make a decision on the cases that are before them. And so, after such a statement was made by the Archbishop, the former aviation minister, Femi Fanikayode, took to his official Instagram page to react, where he stated that the Nigerian people have spoken and the deep state conspiracy to prevent Bola Tinubu from becoming president has failed for a long time ago. This was in response to the Archbishop's statement. Femi Fani Kayode continued by saying that Oyeneko cannot stop a moving train. And he said that those individuals who have hardened their heart and who have refused to accept God's way to allow Bola Ame Tunubu and the Nigerian people go shall be like Pharaoh who perished before their eyes, who will perish before their eyes. The APC had concluded by saying that those individuals who are full of resentment and rots and who wish to pursue them into the Red Sea as they make their way into the promised land will be drawn by a by the by such a sin. He said, So guys, what's your take? Let's hear from you. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not. Thank you for this coming out here. Bye for now.